Uh, hello there guys, welcome back. Um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to give you a quick um, walk around of how I changed the um, uh, the scene for um, now doing whatever we did last week, we're going to do it now in Nuke. So you go uh, clear a view of what uh, needs to be done. Uh, just remember that here what we did was only a test so you can understand what uh, 3D projections are. You could render stuff from here, you could bake stuff out in the UV, but you need to create all that stuff. But just remember that the final delivery is going to be in Nuke. So what I did was I did a little bit of a cleanup, and I'm going to show you two ways of exporting this um, geometry. So what I did was I pretty much clean up everything, and then I just rename it the way it should be. So I, you know, I put one in the floor, I put this one separately, two cushions, the back cushion one, cushion two, from. I put the table together. I just combine them. Just go here into mesh and I say combine. Um, I put the table, so the big table top, and I put the legs separately, so I'll show you later why. The same I did here with the um, with this, okay? So um, I pretty much put one here, and then I fill that hole, and just and then the seat here, and then you got the legs all together. I put this one together here, there's no need to do much to it. This is the same, single pillar, no much to it, the floor, the other wall, simple as that. All right. So we're going to do. We're going to export everything here. So there's two ways to export stuff here in um, from Maya. So one, you got the option of exporting everything as an FBX. So you pretty much you select everything. We're going to export uh, cameras as well. So the FBX format is a proprietary format from uh, I think it was developed by Autodesk actually, and it pretty much allows you to export stuff into other uh, packages. Uh, it supports light. It supports shaders. It supports uh, well, limited way of shaders. It supports uh, cameras, it supports animation, uh, rigs, joints for character reanimation. Um, but for here, we're going to just use just single geometry and um, and uh, just uh, just camera. So what you can do is just select um, everything here. That I just don't need. This is like the projection stuff. So I need all the geometry and all the cameras. And all you have to do is just go into File, and then Export Selection, go into the Options, FVX Export. Okay. Now, and you say export selection here on the options is something you need to do if you want to make it work with um, with uh, um, with uh, uh, a nuke. And you have to do is pretty much uh, this is unnecessary. You could do this one if you want the geometry smooth group, smooth mesh if you want to. But I think the key settings that you need to sort out here obviously is animation. So you bake out the whole animation of the camera. You don't need this because there's no baked geometry in the actual. Um, let's just tick it there so you get a tick there. So it's done. It's it. We don't have any deforming geometry. Uh, you need cameras. You don't need lights and bit media. And make sure that here on the version is set to 2010. For some reason this one doesn't work. I try and it doesn't work. Even with this one in New York, it's a bit slow. So I decided to do a different way of exporting stuff. So all you have to do is select all that stuff, 2010 put the file blah 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 save it done okay so I'm um, just gonna go and see what did I put uh, let me see what did I put uh, did I put it in data no I think I put it directly into week 5 projections here and I'm just gonna call it here I think I put it in 3, 3D renders not 3D work yeah I put it in 3D work so you go here FBX I put it in com 313 and I put here underscore version 002 because that's an old one that I have just in case and you go here and say export and it goes here the whole thing and it tells you that you can't support this because it was surface shade they say it doesn't support projection but that's fine we don't want to be need projection inside new we want to create our own now the other way to do this is to select all the geometry you want to do and this is way more efficient this is the one that I use at the end because you can read geometry very very um, efficiently if you go into cache you go into Alembic cache, and if you go into uh, export uh, selection to Alembic, you go into the options here, and all you have to do is this is a different file format. It's called a dot .abc, not the other ones FBX, and this is pretty much um, is another way to export stuff as well. I think this one supports a little bit more stuff inside um, the file format. I think it supports things like particles and prop. Uh, properties and embed that into the geometry and things like that way more complex but I think all they have you have to, all the stuff you have to do is you just have to poo where did I put it here extension 
I think it's you can do stuff here like you want right UV right face all that stuff. We don't need any of this stuff. So I think all the stuff we need to do is just put make sure the time slider so export the whole thing here. And here we have to I think we have to use is this one here. I think it's this one, yeah. H O oh, Gap. This is the file form. I think this is the one that we have to use. So I'm gonna. I can't remember which one it is, but I'm gonna export one with this. So I say export selection, and again I'm just gonna go and find it. Where did I put it? I put it in directly in Week Five projections in New York and 3D work. I put it here ABC, and I'm gonna put it here version 002 underscore, and I'm gonna put this format Ogawa, just in case the other one doesn't work. So I'm just gonna export selection. I say, yeah, you see, that's it there. Done. I think I'm gonna go and just to make sure. I'm gonna go again to Alembic. Export selection to Alembic. Go into the options. And I can't remember if this one works. So I'm just gonna select this export selection. And I'm gonna call this the other one. Uh, what was the setting? H H D H D F I. HDF5. I don't think that's the one, but anyway, just in case. And again, you go through the whole thing and you export it. So now we have two ways of um, exporting the geometry. Okay, so now we have the geometry. We just now need to jump into Nuke and show you how to import all this stuff and start working with your um, uh, files. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to stop here now and then we're going to go in the next video. So thank you very much, guys. Bye bye.